Christopher Titus and this is the Armageddon update. You know, I get asked a lot about why I'm a Democrat. And to be clear, I'm not. I'm an independent with a problem. My problem is there's only one party actually trying. I mean, they aren't perfect, but damn, they are trying. You know, they seem to vote for Americans, not American Airlines. They want to build a better union, not kill unions. They want you to make more money and vote for that. While the party of chaos and disorder votes against you and your future. You know, it's stunning to me what it takes to be a Republican in America today. You know, I used to be one. Yeah, no shit. However, my father taught me how to think. I am not changing my mind about this. By hitting me in the back of the head and asking me, the hell are you thinking? (laughs) So I've been thinking. I've decided to look at the facts and the numbers. And I made my political decision based on the truth because I want to do what's best for me my family, and my country. And I don't want to get hit in the back of the head anymore. Stop yelling, Dad! You're screwing it up right now! You should have been fetal research. To be clear, people, I'm not afraid of LGBTQEIEIO or immigrants or teaching history or pronouns or Antifa or Hunter Biden and his crack hooker army. I am afraid of politicians trying to scare me with all of the above bullshit trying to get me worried about things and people that won't affect my life in any way, shape, or form. The Republican Party is bereft of John McCain's anymore. There are no more Dwight D. Eisenhower's. Hell, they don't even have an H.W. Bush. The Republicans just have this this crazy bunch of limp, hypocritical whiners who blame everyone but themselves. How did the GOP get there? Well, it was a long slog that peaked with this slug. We're going to walk down now to the Capitol. Today, any crazy dipshit moron, illiterate, bass backwards, backwoods, corrupt criminal liar can run for Congress. And the GOP is just fine with it. This is George Santos, who won a house seat out of New York. This dude has lied about everything. His school his job. A year ago, he was broke. Now he's worth $3.5 million. He loaned himself $700,000 for his own campaign. You know, when he was 19, Santos forged checks. While running for Congress, he said his mother died because of 9-11. She died in 2016. He said his grandparents were Holocaust survivors, but they were born in Brazil, which is a great place to survive the Holocaust. So a lot of Nazis actually did it. He claimed he was Jewish and isn't. And he had divorced a woman just weeks before launching his 2020 political campaign, even though he later claimed he was gay. He did come out after all this was brought to light and said he embellished his resume. No, Mr. Santos, you lied. You fucking lied. In every speech, in every interview, you lied. At least tell the truth about your lying. So this is why I'm a Democrat currently. Because of people like Green, Gates, Boebert, Biggs, Herschel, Jordan, Cruz, Paul, Santos, and every other Republican mental patient with narcissistic personality disorder, zero policy ideas, and even less education who thinks they should run anything more than a fucking drive through at Wendy's. When you, when you can put up this clown car of dipshits election after election you're gonna lose again and again because at one point even conservatives can't vote for douchebags like these unless these douchebags run for president and then all bets are off don't look at it shut your eyes and don't look at it no matter what happens i'm christopher titus and this is the armageddon update (sighs) man i gotta take blood pressure medication i really can't i'm tired of talking about this aren't we all tired of talking about this